the application topic of percentage is profit and loss next is simple interest next is compound interest out of these four topics this topic and profit and loss both are almost every year compulsory question if you are comfortable in profit and loss minimum one one minimum one question maximum two question they will ask in profit in percentage minimum two to three questions some year goes to six also understood abbas so if you are comfortable alone in this topic at least three to four questions compulsory question understood abbas so these two topics so far not a single question from these two topic but last to last year they asked one question from compound interest so so far not a single question from simple interest understand we will teach this topic in the extra classes so if you want to skip you can skip these two topics but we will teach later on understand but this two topic you cannot skip it understand ava i told you or you remember in the yesterday's class i given you seven topics in basic numeracy seven topics in critical and logical 14 six topics in gma that 20 topics you cannot skip understood other than this remaining topic you can study or not study that is different thing but that 20 topic you must study understood abba in that 20 topic these two topics must be there understood abba right so give me 10 to 15 minutes okay first then we will start the topic so how can you convert fraction into percentage for example 1 by 2 how can i convert this into percentage into 100 so i will get 50% understood abbas that means if you want to convert a fraction into percentage you have to what multiply by 100 understood abbas how can you convert a percentage into fraction that means divided by 100 understood abbas why 100 only because percent that means out of 100 how much that's why we are usually convert using 100 here understood abbas then in this topic some of the fraction value we have to know percentage or some of the percentage value you know how to convert into fraction for example 1 by 1 how much percentage into 100 100 percentage all are understood what i am writing 1 by 2 multiply by 100 50 percentage 1 by 3 multiply by 100 33.33 percent that means into 100 100 by 3 you will get this but listen very carefully we are not go i am not going to make you comfortable in this direction why fraction is there converting into percentage application is less but if percentages are there converting into fraction and solve the question application is more so you have to remember in this way what is this way 100% what is the fraction divided by 100 that is 1 by 1 are you understood not understood abbas 50 percentage divided by 100 that is 1 by 2 33.33 percentage okay abbas that means 1 by 3 25 percentage that means 1 by 4 20 percentage 1 by 5 sir i have to mug up all this thing no if we keep on practicing this topic profit and loss speed time and distance every topic percentage will come automatically some of the most popular percentage value you automatically your mind will remember understood abbas 20 percent so next 16.66 or 67% then 14.28 percent means divided by 100 that is 1 by 7 then 12.5 percentage means 1 by 8 11.11 percent means 1 by 9 10 percent means 1 by 10 are you understood up to here then 9.09 percent means 1 by 11 okay first then what is 1 by 12 listen carefully next time i am going to write 1 by 12 i will write directly but i will tell you something how can you remember this 12 is multiple of what 12 is multiple of 
12 is also a multiple of 3. 12 is a multiple of 4. 12 is a multiple of 6. What is bigger number 6? How 6 becomes 12? Into 2. So divided by 2. So 8.33%. Are you understanding this? 12 is also a multiple of 4. So how 4 becomes 12? Into 3. So divided by 3. You will get the same answer. 12 is a multiple of 3. How 3 becomes 12? Into 4. So divided by 4. Same answer. So 12 is also a multiple of 2. How 2 becomes 12? Into 6. So divided by 6. You will get the same answer. Are you understood? Not understood. Abbas. So next 7.69%. 1 by 13. 7.14%. That means 1 by 14. Understood Abbas. Then why? 14 is a multiple of 7. How 7 becomes 14 into 2. So divided by 2, you will get the same thing. Are you understood, Abbas? Right. Next, 6.67%. That is 1 by 15. Understand, Abbas? Next, 6.25%. That is 1 by 16. 5.88%. That is 1 by 17. 5.56%. That is 1 by 18. 5.26 percent that is 1 by 19. So 5 percent 1 by 20. Generally remember up to here. But while solving keep on solving then automatically you will remember. Understood Abbas? Next lesson was if the question use the word percentage change or percentage increase or percentage decrease is asked in the question. For example Understood, Abbas? For example, originally or earlier, my income is 200 rupees, for example. The way I am murdering my student, my management was happy and they are saying, Swami sir, now your income becomes 250 rupees, for example. All are understand? So, my income is changing or not changing? Changing. Increasing or decreasing? Increasing. How much rupees increasing? So it is increased by how much rupees? 50 rupees increasing. So my income increased by 50 rupees. Okay. But the question asks your income increased by how much percentage? Understood, Abba. So I have to convert this 50 rupees into percentage form. Alarm. That means 50 rupees is equal to how much percent? That is asked in the question. My income increased by 50 rupees. But the question asks your income increased by how much percentage? Are you understood? Abbas? So I have to convert this 50 rupees into percentage form. 50 rupees increasing from where? From where? 50 rupees increasing from where? 200. 200. 200. 1 by 4. That means my income increased by 25%. Are you understood this? Allah understand. So, he in this example, 50 rupees is synonymous to 25 percent. In this example, are you understand? Now, after some days, again some more people joining the class. Then, management saying, no, no, Swamis are not in murdering people. So, they will again decrease my income to 200 rupees. Understood? So, how much rupees my income decreasing? 50 rupees. Okay. But the question asked, how much percent your income decreasing? That means 50 rupees means how much percentage is asked in the question? Here 50 rupees means 25 percent. Can I say same 25 percent decreasing? No. Why? Because 50 rupees decreasing from where? 250. So cancelled. That means 1 by 5. So 20 percent decreasing because denominator changing. Are you understood, Abbas? Allah understand? This is the procedure. Allah understood? So, Allah ready now? Listen, boss, now. I don't need this all the value. So, from here to here, this is original, this is now. So, from here to here, increasing or decreasing your income, increasing. How much increasing? 1 by 4, that is 25 percent. Are you understood, Abbas? So, from here to here, if here increasing means here must be decreasing, that means the direction has to be opposite. Here decreasing, here increasing. Here increasing, here decreasing. Understood, Abbas? 
वॉट एवर द न्यूमरेटर सेम न्यूमरेटर वाई आई विल डिफाइन ओके बस रेफरेंस इज इनक्रीजिंग एड न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर फोर प्लस वन फाइव दट मीन ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट डिक्रीजिंग आर यू अंडरस्टूड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड सर वॉट इज दिस इनक्रीज डिक्रीज लिसन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इन इनकम इनक्रीजिंग सो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर डिक्रीजिंग आर यू अंडरस्टैंड हियर इनक्रीज मीन हियर डिक्रीजिंग What is the difference between two hundred and two fifty? Fifty rupees. What is the difference between two fifty and two hundred? Same fifty rupees. That means whatever the numerator, same numerator. Are you understood this? Allah understand. Here reference is increasing. So add numerator and denominator. Fifty plus two hundred. It becomes two fifty. That is the new value. That is going to be the denominator here. Understood, Daba. Come to here. Reference is increasing. Add numerator and denominator. That is five. That is going to be the new value. That is going to be the denominator here. All are understood this, boss. All are understand. No, somebody crying. Listen, boss. So from here to here, it is increased by twelve point five percent. Twelve point five percent means one by eight. Just now we wrote one by eight. Are you understood, boss? From here to here. Here increasing means here decreasing. Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Whatever it is, reference increasing. Add numerator and denominator. That is nine. That means eleven point one one percent decreasing from here to here. Are you understood or not understood? All are understand. Here twenty percent decreasing. I told you if anywhere the statement using the word percentage, you have to shoot the question. This much percentage of what? So twenty percent decreasing. Okay, twenty percent of what? Originala new a. Ye totally silent hai. New, 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 new. Out of this twenty percentage is how much? That much value decreasing. You will get the new value. Are you understood this? All are understand. It totally is silent to everybody. So from here to here, it is increased by forty percentage. How can you write forty percent as a fraction? Forty by hundred. That means further simplify. You will get it two by five. Are you understood this, boss? So from here to here increasing. So from here to here decreasing. Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Reference is increasing, so add numerator and denominator. Write it here. Are you understood, Abbas? So this you have to convert into percentage. So multiply by hundred. R. So how can I write two by seven? Remove the numerator outside two. Remaining one by seven. You know one by seven is fourteen point two eight percent. So fourteen into two point fourteen two into fourteen point two eight. Twenty-eight point five six percentage decreasing from here to here. Are you understood? Not understand? No. Somebody crying. From here to here, increased by one fifty percentage. How can you write one fifty percent as a fraction? So one fifty by hundred. Now only I will write forty percent means forty by hundred two by five. After subsequent classes, directly we will write two by five. Understood, Daba. So cancel the cancel the. You will get a three by two. From here to here increasing. So from here to here decreasing. Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Reference is increasing. Add numerator and denominator. That is five here. All are understand, Daba. How can I write three by five? Three into one by five. One by five means twenty percent. So three into twenty percent, that means sixty percent decreasing from here to here. Are you understood? Not understood, everybody. All are understand. So from here, next page I will write. From here to here, decreased by twenty percentage. Twenty percent means twenty by hundred, one by five. All are understand. So from here to here, here decreasing means here increasing. Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Reference is decreasing, so difference between numerator and denominator that is five and one difference is four. That means twenty five percent increasing. All are understood. 
I never use the word numerator minus denominator. I never use the word denominator minus numerator. I am using the word difference. Wherever bigger value minus wherever smaller value. So 5 minus 1, 4, that only I am writing. Are you understood or not understood? Dabas. Next, from here to here, it is decreased by 40 percentage. How can you write 40 percent as a fraction? You know 40 by 100, cancelled 2 by 5. So, from here to here. Here decrease means here increasing. All are understand? Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Reference is decreasing. So, difference between numerator and denominator. That is 3 here. How can I calculate 2 by 3? 2 into 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is 33.33. Multiply by 2, 66.66% 66 increasing from here to here. Are you understood? Not understood. Allah understand. Anybody doubt? Don't invite all the formula. If you see all the books or kids are teaching, they will write all the formula. X plus Y, Y plus X. Leave all the kids, the, the uh, people. Understood? So, anybody doubt here? You know Y increase, you know Y decrease. You know Y is same numerator, here also same numerator. Y here, reference is decreasing, means difference and right here, you know Y. All are understood? Daba. For example, listen to us. Earlier, interest is 4%. Now, interest is 5%. Understood, Davos? Now, percent, it is changing or not changing? It is changing. So, I am going to show these changes in two ways. What is the difference between these two? So, 5% minus 4%. What you will get to 1%. So, how can I say this 1%? 1%... 1 percentage point increasing. If you take the directly difference between the percentage, you have to use the word point. Understood, Abbas? This point to that point. Understood, Abbas? Now, R. Here 4 is there, here 5. How much increasing? How much percent? 1 percent. From where? 4 percent. So, cancelled, cancelled. 1 by 4 means 25% increasing. Either you can say 1 percentage point increasing or you can say this changes as 25% increasing. For this, this both are synonyms to each other. All are understood, Dabas. All are understood. If you see sometimes in newspaper regarding, for example, repo rate, they will say, they will not say RBI decreased by 1% 2%. They will say it is changes by 20 basis point. Are you see that thing? Allah understood. Like that only. So, either if you take the difference between these two, you have to use the word point. This much percentage point increase or decrease. But here you cannot use the word point here. So, 25% increasing. Understand Abba. So, you can show the changes like this or you can show the changes like this. Understand everybody? All are understand. Listen, boss, one minute. <clears throat> A worker suffers 20% cut. Cut means decreasing. In his wages. Understood of us? The first interpretation. Original or earlier wages. Now wages. Are you understood this? I am. So what is your original wages salary? We don't know. Assume 100 or 100 percent. Entire in C satter. Don't if any. If any variable you don't know. Don't ever ever invite X or Y like that. Understood, Abba. 90% of the topics don't use the formula. Understood, Abba. Listen carefully. So, I am assuming my original is 100% or 100. Whichever you feel convenient. What happened to your wage now? 20% decreasing. 20% of what? Original income. What's the original income? 100. Out of 100. 
ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज इज हाउ मच ओके बस ट्वेंटी रुपीज डिक्रीजिंग माय न्यू इनकम इज एटी रुपीज और एटी परसेंट आर यू अंडरस्टूड दिस नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट से ही मे रीगेन हिस्स ओरिजिनल वेज दैट मीन गोइंग बैक टू दंड्रेड रुपीज यू हैव टू इंक्रीज युअर इनकम हाउ मच इंक्रीजिंग यू हैव टू इंक्रीज युअर इनकम बाय ट्वेंटी रुपीज फ्रॉम वेर एटी परसेंटेज मीन्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड That means twenty five percent. You have to increase your present income to go back to original income. Are you understood this? Alar and waste of the time. Come to second interpretation. Attention, carefully. So original now. Compared to original, what happened to your now income? Decreased by twenty percentage. Twenty percent means what is a fraction? Twenty by hundred. That is one by five. So from here to here decreasing, from here to here increasing. Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Reference is decreasing. Difference between numerator and denominator that is four. That means twenty five percent. You have to increase your present income to go back to original income. Are you understood or not understood? Either you can prefer this interpretation or you can prefer this interpretation, whichever you feel convenient. Understood, Dabas. Anybody doubt? Anybody? You see what this cheater UPSC asked. You see this? Now, A and B are two heavy steel blocks. Okay. If B is placed on the top of A, that means earlier A is there. Now you are putting a B on top of A. Now weight is A plus B weight. Are you understood this? Earlier A weight is there. Now A plus B weight is there. All are understood, Davas. So if you place B on top of A, the weight increased by sixty percentage. Either you can solve by this interpretation, this, or you can solve by this. Which you feel first or second are comfortable? Second. Second, right? Now, Second. because of you placed B on A, weight increased by sixty percent. Sixty percent means sixty by hundred. That means three by five. So from here to here increasing. So from here to here decreasing. Whatever the numerator, same numerator. Reference is increasing. That means so diff. Add this to you will get eight. How can you write three by eight? Three into one by eight. One by eight is twelve point five into three. Thirty seven point five percentage decreasing from here to here. All are understood this. All are understand. Anybody doubt up to here? So how did you get three by eight? So here increase means here decreasing, madam ji. Whatever the numerator, same numerator, madam ji. Understood? Not understood? Yes, so, sir. Then your reference is increasing. So add numerator and denominator. Three plus five, how much? Eight. That is going to be denominator here. Okay, got it. Ah, uh, yeah. Previous pages I taught already. What is the proof? Why we need increase degrees? Why same numerator? Why add and write here and write here denominator? I told already in the previous pages. Anybody doubt? Anybody? So this is the introduction. Now only we are going to start the topic. All are ready. So anybody doubt so far? So how is your concentration? Is it good? I totally silent. Eh? All are ready. Yes, sir. Can we start the topic? Yes, sir. Deal. I think yesterday I dictated one question related to sugar. I think. Yes. So all sir. tried in home. Anybody tried? Anybody tried? Yes, sir. So what is the answer you got? I got price ten and eight. Anji. No, ten and eight rupees. Wrong answer. Okay. 
Yes. Any other person tried? Naturally. Okay, boss, no issue. So if anybody not satisfied there itself, unmute yourself, you have to stop me. Understood? Don't wait for up to last, then I have to expand from beginning to end. Understood, boss? Right. To solve the question. Understood, boss? That is called successive or net or effective or combined changes. Understood, boss? First, you have to know, how do I know this one question is suitable for successive changes or not? Are you want the first thing? Second thing, sir, if it is successive changes, in what way I have to interpret the question? Are you understood? So, here, this is one of the part of compound interest also. So, in compound interest, other than formula, 7 to 8 interpretation, out of 8 interpretation, we are introducing here 4 interpretation. Understood, Abbas? And I will tell you each interpretation, what you derive, what you cannot derive. And when you prefer, when you avoid this interpretation. But every question in successive changes, you can solve by four interpretation. But why you want to skip some of the interpretation, it becomes time consuming. Understood, not understand? What most popular interpretation? Somebody will do, this is A plus B plus A into B by 100. Like that they will use. This interpretation, they will, the most popular interpretation. This is going to be one of the interpretation. But if you solve by this interpretation, what do you derive, what you cannot derive? When you can avoid this interpretation, if it is in decimal, you have to avoid like that. Many are there, I will tell you in subsequent uh, uh, interpretation. All are understood, Abba. So please be a good listener next 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, I will display the question. You feel moksha while reading the question. Understood? So, for next 20 to 25 minutes, it is a mass murder in the class. So, digest that 20 to 25 minutes. For example, my income increased by first year 10%. Again, my income increased by 10% for second year. Understood, Abbas? When you can think about successive changes in one question, if and only more than one percentage or numerical value, then only you can check whether we can solve this question by successive changes or not. Only one percentage is there. You cannot check that question we can solve by successive changes or not. Are you understood this? More than one percentage, then only you can check we can solve this question by successive changes or not. Are you understood this? Allah understand? Okay. Then how do we know we can solve this question by successive changes or not? Listen carefully. First, 10% of first year my income increased by 10%. Second year again my income increased by 10%. After two years, what is the total increase in my income? Can I say 10 plus 10, 20% of my income increasing? Why? Original value is changing. Okay. First, first year, 10% of what? 100. 100. First year, 10% of 100. 10% increasing your income. 10% of what? 100. 100. Original income. Second year, again 10% increasing. 10% of what? Original or new income? New income. That means both the percentages are not calculated based upon the same total. This example is suitable for successive changes. If all the percentages are calculated based upon the same total, then that question is not suitable for successive changes. All are understood, not understand. A yeah, totally silent. Eh? So once again, repeat. So first. I will tell you. Listen, boss. How many percentages are there? Three. More than one. 
that means we can check whether we can solve this question by successive changes or not first you are spending 20% money on food you need 20% money 20% of what where you will take 20% from, from your original income yes next you are spending money on rent how much is spending 25% you need 25% money where you will take 25% of original income or left out income any other statement saying left out or remaining Anywhere the statement says no, that means 25% of original income. All are understand. Next, your expenditure is on shopping. How much you are spending? 30%. So you need 30% money. 30% of what? Original income or left out income? Nothing is mentioned, so original income. Yeah. These three percentages are calculated based upon the same total original income. So this question not suitable for successive changes. Understood, not understood. Alar understand. Yes. Next lesson was how many percentages are there? One now more than one now. More, more than, than one. one. That means we can check whether we can solve this question by successive changes or not. First, you are first. How much percent you need? Twenty percent. Twenty percent of what? Original, original income. income. Original income. Next, your expenditure, how much money? 25% 20 20 of what? Original or left out? Left out. Left out. Left out. Means 25% not based on the original income, remaining income. Next, you are spending 30% money. 30% of original or remaining? Yeah? Remaining. Remaining. Three percentages are not calculated based upon the same total. This question is suitable for successive changes. All are understood, not understood. Yes, understood. Not only in this topic, profit and loss interest. In many topics, one of the interpretations, some question, successive changes will come. But you have to know more than one percent are there, then only we can check successive changes or not. Then how do we know is it we can solve this question by successive changes? If all the percentages are not calculated based upon the same total, then only that question is suitable for successive changes. All are understood, not understood. Now, anybody doubt? Anybody? Teaching is different, grooming is different. I will not teach the topic. I will groom you because you yourself are going to read the question. I am not going to read the question in examination hall. By reading the question, you yourself has to know why I have to check where can we solve this by successive changes or not. Are you understood, Abbas? Anybody doubt so far? Next, I will not say anything. You have to tell me, can we solve this question by successive changes or not? So, no, this you will get something like this. All right. All right. Tell me, can we solve this question by successive changes or not? Yes, sir. yes. Why you yes, are sir. saying you can solve this question by successive changes? More than one percentage is given and uh, the income is uh, varying, original and then new income. Because this 12.5 percent of original, this 30 percent of original are left out. Huh? Left out. That means this question is suitable to solve by successive changes also. Understood, Daba? Anybody doubt? Any Ahmad me? Nobody saying doubt. Eh? Seriously, all are understand. Right, okay. Now I will display one thing. So now, don't solve the question. I'm not showing to do uh, to answer the question. Can I can I check? Can I solve this question by successive changes or not? How many percentage values are there? Only one. I cannot verify this question suitable for successive changes or not. Are you understood this? Yes. All are, all are understand. Can I check this question? Can we solve this question by successive changes also or not? Can I check or not? Leave successive yes. changes or not? Yes. Can I check yes. this or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Why you are checking? More than, two. more than one percentage, then we can check, we can solve this question by successive changes or not. All are understand? Later on, I will tell you whether we can solve this by successive changes or not in tomorrow's class. Are you understood? Not understood, Abbas. Right, okay. 
Now you understand whether one question is suitable for successive changes or not. That means if all the percentages are not calculated based upon the same total, then only that question is suitable for successive changes. Understood? All are understand. So now we are going to introduce the interpretation, not method, interpretation. Understood, Abbas? Now the world first was the interpretation. Whenever Big Bang Theory started, interpretation born simultaneously. All are ready? I am assuming my original income is 100 rupees. For example, you take it 100% also. Now, first year, 10% increasing. 10% of what? Original, that is 100. Out of 100, 10 percentage is how much? 10 rupees increasing. So, after one year, or first year income, you can take it both are same. After one year, 100 plus 10, it becomes 110. Are you understood this? Second year, again 10% increasing. 10% of what original of after first year income? First year income. So, out of 110, 10% 10 is how much? Cancelled. That is 11 rupee increasing. That means 110 plus 11. So, after 2 years, your income becomes 121. Are you understood this? What is your original income? 100. What is the final or after two year income? Income 121. Compared to original income, final income increasing or decreasing? Ya? Increasing. How much rupees increasing? 21. From where? Original. That is how much? 100. Percentage means multiply by 100. Cancelled. That means 21% net increasing. Understood? Not understood. That means 10% increasing, 10% increasing. After 2 years, what is the net or combined or effective increasing? 21% increasing. Are you understood this? If you solve like this interpretation, what is called this interpretation? Going individual year, how much, how much like this? If you solve by this interpretation, first you derive original and final. You can able to derive net or effective changes. You can able to derive individual year difference in value. What is called individual year difference in value? What is the difference between first year and second year income in value you can able to derive? What is the difference between original and first year income in value you can able to derive? All are understand. If you interpret like this, you will get original and final you can interpolate, extrapolate. And the net or effective changes, you can able to derive individual year difference in value. All you understood, Abbas? A totally silent. When you can prefer this interpretation, I am not saying when you can solve. In every successive changes, you can solve by this interpretation. But when you prefer this interpretation, if one only question discuss about individual year difference in value, or they ask about individual year difference in value, then only you can prefer by this interpretation. Understood, not understood. All are understand. Now listen, boss. What is the meaning of 10% increasing? For example, Yogi's boss code 20 mark more than me. What does it mean? Difference between Yogi's mark and my mark is 20. For example, I scored 20 mark less than Divya Bas. What does it mean? Difference is what? 20. So, more or less is synonyms to difference. Increase or decrease is synonyms to difference. Are you understood, Abba? What is the meaning of 10% increasing? Increase means difference. Difference between original and first year income in percentage form is 10%. All are understand, not understand. What is called 10 rupee increasing? Difference between original and first year income in value is 10 rupee. All are understood, not understood. Abba. Come to here. What is called 10% increasing? Difference between first year and second year income in percentage is 10%. 
what is called 11 rupee increasing difference between first year and second year income in value is 11 rupee this is called difference this is called difference so both are equal it what is silent can i say 10 percent equal to 11 rupee then what you will ask you can say but you cannot write like this why then you you see here can i write a 10 percent is equal because 10 percent is called difference 11 rupees is called difference this is called difference this is called difference both are equal so i can write 10 percent equal to 11 but you cannot write like this why then you will shoot the question 10 percent of what 10 percent of what 10% of what? First year income. Mm -hmm. Are you understood, Daba? So you have to write like this. 10% of first year income is 11 rupee. Understand, Daba? You cannot write directly 10% equal to 10. Then you cannot understand the meaning. All are understood, Daba. What is the total first year income? That means 100% of first year income. How 10 becomes 100 into 10? Same multiply by 10. So our first year income is 110. Are you understood? Not understood. All are understand. Come to here. This is called a difference. This is called a difference. I can say both are equal. Can I write 10% equal to 10 rupee? No. Then you will ask 10% of what? What is 10% of what? Original. That means 10% of original income is 10 rupees. What is total original income? Total means under percentage of original income. How 10 becomes 100 into 10? Same multiply by 10. That means 100 rupees. That is the original. Are you understood this? If you interpret like this, going individual year, individual year value how much? You will derive original final. You will derive net or effective changes. You can able to derive individual year difference in value. Are you understood this? When you can prefer this interpretation? If the question discuss about individual year difference in value. Or they ask about individual year difference in value. Then only you can prefer this interpretation. I never said then only you can solve the question. You can solve the success changes by this, this method also. But you cannot prefer every situation. Why I will prove you? Then you yourself will say it becomes lengthy method. Are you understood? Not understood. What is the meaning of 21% increasing? Increase means difference. Difference between what is 21%? Yeah, totally silent. Eh? Final and original. Original and final. If I assume original is 100%, after 2 years it becomes 121%. All are understood, not understood. Anybody doubt? Anybody? Any arm with me having doubt bus? Okay. Come to second interpretation. What is called second interpretation? That is called generalization. What is called generalization? Listen very carefully. Ready? 10% increasing, 10% increasing. Next, I will tell you how can we solve by generalization. First, I will tell you what is the criteria we can solve one question by generalization. The numerical values are same. Swami, sir, stop. Why you are not saying percentage values are same? Instead of percentage, they will give fraction 2 by 3, 1 by 4 like that. Understood, Daba. That is why I am using the word. Whether they are in percentage form or in fraction form, whatever it is. The numerical values are same. Direction of the arrows are same. Then only you can solve by generalization. N number of values will be there, whatever it is. Are you understood, Daba? Numerical values are same. Direction of the arrows are same. Then only you can prefer generalization. Sir, what is called generalization? Calculate after one year, extrapolate into n number of years. That is called generalization interpretation. Are you understood this? Sir, what is this? Listen carefully. Now, what is your original income? 
we don't know assume 100% all are understand i don't write i am going to upload this pdf first if you see the book they will give formula and everything but when you prefer when you cannot prefer where what you derive what you cannot derive book will not teach so listen carefully what is my original income i am assuming 100 percentage first year i am adding 10 percent after one year how much my income 110 110 110 percentage are you understood this what i am saying how can you write 110 percent as a fraction 110 by 100 cancelled i am simplifying 11 by 10 what is the meaning of this fraction after one year this much income i am receiving what is the meaning of numerator and denominator if my original income is 10 rupee after one year my income becomes 11 rupee are you understood not i understand or if my original income is 10 unit or 10x after one year my income becomes 11 unit or 11x are you understood not understand but total how many year question says 2 year raise power 2 Four years raise power four. Five years raise power five. Are you understood, Daba? So eleven square that is one twenty one. Ten square that is hundred. What is the meaning of this fraction? After two years, this much income you are receiving. What is the meaning of numerator and denominator? If my original income is hundred rupees or hundred unit, after two years my income is one twenty one or one twenty one unit. Are you understood, Daba? Compared to original, final increasing or decreasing? Yeah, increasing. How much? Twenty one. From where original that is hundred percentage means multiply by hundred. That means. 21 percent net increasing. Are you understood? Or not understood? No. Somebody crying. Can we prefer this example by generalization? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Why? Numerical values are same. Direction of the arrows are same. We can solve this question by generalization also. So, what is your original income? Hundred percent. Add twenty percent. So, after one year, my income becomes one twenty percent. How can you write one twenty percent as a fraction? One twenty by hundred. Cancelled. Simplify. Six by five. When after one year. Total how many year? Three year. Power three. Are you understood or not understood? Daba. Six power three. Six into six. Thirty six. Thirty six into six two one six. Five power three. That is one twenty five. Are you understood what I am saying? What is the meaning of this fraction? After three years, this much income you are receiving. What is the meaning of numerator and denominator? Anybody? What is the meaning of numerator and denominator? You see here, you see here. So one twenty five is the original, and one twenty five is the original. Then after three years, how much? Two one six. Two hundred and sixteen. Compared to original, final is increasing or decreasing? Yeah. Increasing. increasing. How much increasing difference between these two? Ninety one. From where original income? What is the original income here? One twenty five. Because this is original. Are you understood? Not understood. Daba. Percentage means multiply by hundred. So four times five times. That means four three sixty four by five. That means seventy two point eight percent increase. Are you understood? Not understood. All are understood. What I am writing. If you solve by this interpretation, you first you will derive original and final. You are able to derive net or effective changes. What, tell me what is the difference between second year and third year income in value? Unable to derive. Understood, Daba. If you if the question ask individual year difference in value, avoid this interpretation. Go to first interpretation. Understand or not understand? All are understood, Daba. 
Yes, I'm very totally silent. I myself teaching. Yeah, all are understood, not understood. Yes, yes sir. Yes, Acharya. Now you. For I'm going to further simplify. For example, twenty five percent increasing, twenty five percent increasing like that for some years. So can we solve this by generalization also? Yes. Calculate one year and extrapolate into n number of year. So tell me how can I calculate after one year how much? After one year, what is my income? What is one, going on? One twenty-five. Original, I am assuming hundred percentage. Add twenty-five. After you people concentration not good. Everybody eager to solve the question. Live solving the question. How to solve the question in India? Everybody is there. Why we cannot solve the question? That is very important. So listen very carefully here. Now after one year, my income becomes one twenty five by hundred. That means five by four. After one year, total n number of years. This is called total number of years. Don't write the remaining years. Are you understood, Daba? Ah, attention now. Further simplify. So twenty five percent increase. How can you write twenty five percent as a fraction? Twenty five by hundred. That means one by four increasing. What is the meaning of one by four increasing? If my original income is four rupee, it will increased by one. So four plus one, it becomes five after one year. All are understood, not understood, Abbas. If my original is four. One year after one year, added by one, it becomes five rupees. Are you understood? Not understand? Raise the power. How many? Are you understood this? For example, the question says twenty-five percent decreasing every year. So what is the fraction? One by four decreasing. So now tell me after one year, what is the fraction? How much income after one year? Three by four. Three by four. So original is four. Decreased by one, it becomes three. Raise the n number of years. Are you understood? Not understood. All are understand. You see where it is applicable. Attention, everybody. If there is a policy that one third of population of a community migrated every year. So, for example, from Delhi, somebody migrating one by three population every year. Migrating means in Delhi population going to be decreasing. Are you understand? Every year decreasing. Every year one by three decreasing. So numerical values are same. Direction of the arrows are same. Are you totally silent? Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So first year one by three decreasing. One by three of what? Hundred percent original population. Second year again one by three decreasing. One by three of what original are left out population. Left out. That is why this question suitable for successive changes. Are you understood this? All are understand because every year one by three is not calculated based upon the same total population. So every year one by three calculated based upon the new total left out population. So this question belongs to successive changes. All are understand this. Now every year one by three numerical values are same. Every year migrating direction are same. That means we can solve this question by generalization also. Are you understood, Daba? What is the meaning? One by three decreasing every year. Okay, Daba. For example, from Delhi, somebody migrating to other area. So in Delhi, population keep on decreasing. But somebody newborn baby is there, or somebody migrated to Delhi, then we cannot say the same value population decreasing. Are you understand? That is why the statement use the word. Eh? They are migrating to one place to another place. What is the leftover population after six year? If there is no further growth in the population, are you understand what is the meaning of no further growth? Nobody born there, nobody migrated to that place. All are understood, Abba. All are understand. That means every year one by three decreasing. 
So tell me after one year, what is the left out population in that area? Every year, two one by, by three degrees. Two by three. Two by three. Two by three when after one year. But the question asks total how many year? Six years. Power six. Two power six is 64. Three power six is 729. This much population is left out after six years. This is the answer. Are you understood this? All are understood, not understood. Tell me why, why this question suitable for success changes? Why? More than one numerical values are there. Okay. So how do you decide that we can solve this question by successive changes also? How That's do you decide that? New total is changing. Yes. Sir. Every year one by three based upon the new total. That means this question is eligible for successive changes. Why I cannot solve this question by first interpretation? Because in this question, individual year difference in value not asked or not discussed, avoid solving by first interpretation. Now, numerical values are same, direction are same. I can prefer generalization. Are you understood, not understood? Allah understand? Anybody doubt what I am saying? If you solve by generalization, tell me what is the meaning of 64 by 729? Hey, nobody is saying. Yeah. 729 is the total or original. Anji. And 64 is the after 6 years. Right. Now, left out is 64. Difference between these two is called that many people migrated. All are understood, not understood. Abbas. Anybody doubt? So far. If you solve by generalization, first you derive original and final. You are able to derive net or effective changes. But you are unable to derive individual year difference in value. Understood, Dabas. Yeah, totally silent. Eh? Yeah, somebody crying. Anybody dying? Anybody getting blood from your nose, eyes? Right. Come to third interpretation. The most popular interpretation in India. The book also will teach all the cat people, everybody, they will use this interpretation. So, x plus y plus x into y by 100. They will use this in, in this way or some other way also. Are you understand? No need of going proof, it's waste of the timing. So, listen, boss. If you solve by this interpretation, then what you derive, what you cannot derive. All are ready? Now, listen. For example, 10% increasing, 10% increasing, what is the net changes? Okay, boss. Now, the, anyone assume X, anyone assume Y. Order is not important. But if you solve by this interpretation, this direction playing a very big role. Why? What is the X value? Not only 10%, X is called plus 10%. Because increasing. What is y value? Not only 10%, y, y is a plus 10%. Decrease means minus 10%. Are you understood? Right. First, what I will do? x plus y. What is x value? Plus 10. What is y value? Plus 10. Are you understood? So, I finish the x plus y. Then, what I will do? x into y. So, x is plus 10 y is plus 10. For your understanding, I am writing like this. Next, I will change the interpretation like this. Understood? Now, plus 10, plus 10. How much? Plus 20%. Cancel the, cancel the, cancel the, cancel. Plus into plus, plus. 1 into 1, 1%. So, now, you will get plus 21%. Are you understand? If you solve, listen very carefully. If you solve by first interpretation, going individual here. If you solve by generalization, first you derive original final, then only you can able to derive net or effective changes. But if you solve by this interpretation, directly you will get net or effective changes. Understand? Abba. Understood? From this, you can extrapolate to original is 100, to final is 121. But what is the difference between first year and second year income in value? You will unable to derive based upon this interpretation. Understood, Abbas. Yeah, totally silent. Eh? 
what is the meaning of plus 21 compared to original final going to be increased by 21 percent are you understood this all are understand listen carefully 10 percent increasing 20 percent increasing first what i will do x plus y plus 10 plus 20 that is plus 30 percent are you understood next i have to multiply so plus into plus that is plus 10 into 20 200 divided by 100 2 what is the net that is 32 percent are you understood all are understand now for example 20 percent increasing 30 percent increasing what is the net changes first x plus y plus 20 plus 30 plus 50 then multiply plus into plus plus 20 into 30 600 divided by 106 what is the net 56 percent are you understood this all are ready now now 10 percent increasing 20 percent increasing 30 percent increasing are you ready if more than if two are there like this formula if three are there another formula four are there another formula so waste of the time to remember every cases formula so we can apply the same thing for n number of values are there so at a time consider any two order is not important either take this two or that two or this two answer will be going to be same all are understood for example i am considering this two first apply this formula plus 10 plus 30 that is plus 40 then plus into plus plus 10 into 30 300 divided by 100 that is 3 so what is the net 43 percent are you understand whatever you are getting combined with the left out one now one more time apply the formula any one is x any one is y plus 43 plus 20 plus 63 percent plus into plus plus 43 into 20 860 divided by 100 8.6 so net is 71.6 percent are you understood this now listen one more important point here how many numerical values are there two numerical values you applied this formula one time here how many numerical values are there three you applied this formula how many times two times if five numerical values are there if you solve by this interpretation you have to apply the formula four times that means if more number of percentages are there, numerical value, avoid this interpretation. All are understood, Daba. They are totally silent. For example, ready? Now, if you solve by x plus y, that x plus y you can manageable, but x into y takes some time for some people. Are you understand? That means if decimal is there or fraction is there, avoid this interpretation. More number of percentages are there, avoid this interpretation. If individually, if you solve by this interpretation, directly you will get net or effective changes. You will not able to derive individual year difference in value. So, uh, if the question asks individual year difference in value, avoid this interpretation. More number of percentage, avoid this interpretation. Fraction is there, avoid this interpretation. Decimal is there, avoid this interpretation. Understood, Daba. You are totally silent. Eh? So, later on, we will solve like this. Wait for some time in tomorrow's class. Only two more minutes we can find the topic today. 10% decreasing, 10% decreasing. First, x plus y minus 10 minus 10. So, minus 20. Then multiply minus into minus plus 10 into 10, 100 divided by 100. That means minus 91 percent. If you solve by this interpretation, if anybody little bit weak in sign, then don't prefer this interpretation. Are you understood? For example, 10 percent increasing, 10 percent decreasing. I am saying you can avoid. No, sir, I am habitual. I will do very fast. You can prefer any interpretation. All are understood. Abbas. So, here, plus 10 minus 10, 0%. Plus into minus minus 10 into 10, 100 divided by 100. 
the net is are you understood or not understand so so far we finished three interpretation from the first interpretation going individually here you can able to derive original final you can able to derive original final you can able to derive net or effective changes you can able to derive individual year difference in value if you solve by generalization first you derive original and final you are able to derive net or effective changes but you are unable to derive individual year difference in value if you solve by x plus y you can directly get a net or effective changes from this you can extrapolate original and final but individual year difference means avoid this interpretation more number of percentages are there avoid this interpretation decimal or fraction avoid this interpretation individual year difference asked avoid this interpretation understood or not understood abba then we can jump to next interpretation in tomorrow's class understood abba so enjoy the remaining day thank you boss